So I think that's it. I will submit it. And oh, and the um, one thing I want you to demonstrate, uh, which is, um, is uh, this. So I think within this item, it's not all that confusing because uh, within this item, it allows you to view your work but it doesn't tell you any scores, which is fine, because I haven't graded it. There's no score there yet. But you will get a confusing message from Canvas because you are submitting here, um, makes my open math send a message to Canvas that a score was set for this item. So you might get a notification from Canvas saying, um, this item was graded and you got zero out of 10. Um, sorry, that's fake news. <laughs> um, it, um, it, uh, there's no way for me to stop that or there's no way for me to stop that without doing other things that unpleasant for me. So I'll just tell you now, when you get that message, just to ignore it. Um, there is a way you can actually view feedback once I have actually graded it. So let me actually show that to you. So I'm going to uh, grade this item uh, for test student anyway, so that uh, I can show you the feedback that test student will see. Uh, let me just uh, navigate to test student to grade item so that, um, so that I'm not showing everyone else's <laughs> grade here. Uh, see here, test student. Uh, all right, so this is my test student. Um, so, you know, my grading process is a little bit different, but um, it's fine. You don't need to see the exact screen I see when I grade. But this is one of the places where I can grade a test student and no one else. So, uh, so I'll grade it. Um, so looking at this here, so I'll give full credit. And um, because, you know, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And, um, oh, I guess I would probably say, well, would I say, you're not, yeah, I would say, the way I would, I will eventually grade, you will see it here, uh, look, looks great. Um, that for most of people, that should be the common feedback. Uh, it doesn't mean I actually read it through it and it's great. And now if I actually saw this, um, I would uh, uh, probably, Kind of questionable. Um, I could be giving two or I could be giving three. I guess it kind of depends. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say two just because you've seen me do this question and there's a lot of ways people can know the correct answer without understanding it. So this question, I'm going to give two. Uh, um, and I would say uh, uh, you need to explain why. Uh, 20,000 miles is the correct answer for the circumference of the planet. Uh, and uh, um, they, based on the explanation, uh, not explanation, information given in the question. Uh, um, Uh, I'm giving credit for the correct answer, but not for the missing work. And most of the times this last feedback um, uh, feedback uh, space will be blank. I think the, my, the way my grading process goes, that'll be blank. So, uh, so I'm gonna save changes and uh, because uh, when I save or yeah, I'm gonna save changes. And um, let me go here. I actually have to change your gradebook setting. And that's actually one of the ways or the assessment item setting. That's one of the ways you can check if it's been graded or not. For now, I'm just gonna temporarily change this and then change it right back because um, uh, until after the due date, I don't want this to be visible. But for now, uh, so that you can see what it'll look like, I'm gonna change this to the setting it will be after grading is done. And then let me go back to the test student here. Um, refresh. And so, so I should be able to review my own work. And yeah, and this is where you will now see the scores. You see the um, score and uh, feedback here. Be the back here. Now, 
this is one of the things I wanted to demonstrate at this virtual class session because it's a bit of a peculiar thing way to access. Um, if you're looking for this feedback in the grade book, uh, you're not gonna see it because uh, within the grade book for test to student, if you are somehow managing to navigate yourself to here and somehow looking at this, click test the difference score, um, then what you're gonna see is um, no preview, nothing. It's because it's an LTI item. Uh, all, the inf all, all the information other than the score lives on that external platform. So you have to be on that external platform to, um, to access the feedback. So for the essay time assessment to access feedback, you have to uh, load the module item the way you did when you were taking it, and then click on this link here, review working gradable. That's how you can see any feedback. And um, whether you see specific feedback here or not should be your indicator that it's been actually graded. Uh, before you see any feedback here, if you see zero out of 10 or even uh, five out of 10, because I grade one question at a time, please don't worry. If you don't see feedback, that means I haven't graded it yet. So, so I think that's everything about the timed assessment I want you to demonstrate. Let me just go back and change the setting back so that people don't <laughs> freak out about, oh wait, yeah. I need to log back in because it's, it's a weird thing that the thing does, that thing. Yeah. I, I don't have time to explain right now. <laughs> Got five minutes and I have one more thing I want to cover. <laughs> um, so never, never, um, and I'll change this afterwards. All right. 